it. Oops. Sorry. Real word. So, and you're going to use the estimating and the reasonable that we used in the last lesson to kind of glance and check your answers. And on the Think Central, it really kind of breaks it down for you. So if Ariel, you know, like from The Little Mermaid, Ariel ran six and a quarter miles. Your talking is not helping on Saturday. And yes, that was recorded, by the way. Um, this, this right here, is one and three quarter miles more than Harry ran. How far did Harry run? So you need an equation because that's what it's going to ask you that tonight. What will be your equation? And you need an answer. So I'm going to help you and give you some tricks of how to set this up. So when you're reading this, the first thing you need to do is understand what it's asking you. Because reading the question is half the battle. Okay, so it wants to know how much Harry ran. Did it ever say anything other than, did it tell us anything about Harry? No. Yeah, it kind of did. <laughs> it says, Ariel ran six and one quarter miles on Saturday. This is... What is that referring to? What is this? These, this? these two words right here. This is. What is this? Six and one quarter miles is the this is. So do you hear the understanding pieces that you have to understand first? So Ariel ran six and one quarter miles on Saturday. This is. One and three quarter miles more than Harry ran. A key word to me that this is, that's one of my favorite words in a, in a word problem like this. This means that. Equals. So six and one quarter is one Harry plus one and three quarter miles. So this is the total. This is six and three quarters. This is one and three quarter miles more than Harry ran. So I have to figure out how much Harry ran. That's what it's asking me. How far did Harry run? So I have to set up an equation. This right here is the situation, right? I know this. I need to know this, and I know this. This is the sitch. <laughs> okay. Is that how I'm going to figure it out? Uh -oh. No. How am I going to figure it out? Use the inverse operation. So it's going to be H equals 6 and 1 quarter. Take away 1 and 3 quarter. So we would call this the situation. This is what we know, and this is the solution. Now, if I'm figuring it out, how would I round this, first of all? Let's do an estimate. Give ourselves an estimate. Six and one quarter, we're going to keep at six. six. Take away one and three quarters, we'll make to two. So my estimate, it's going to be around four miles. That, now, let's find out what we're, let's figure out what we're going to get. So if I'm setting it up, for those of you who need to see, visually see this, take away one and three quarters. 
and I'm actually gonna it's not <laughs> so now I can subtract so five take away three is two fourths five take away one is well this is really four and a and is my answer reasonable yes. yes so my answer would be Harry ran four and a half miles okay so now this one you gotta look for those keywords after guests drank four and a half gallons of punch there were two and five eighths gallons left in the bowl so I'm hearing there were left That's what we had left. I hear drank four and a half gallons. So I'm hearing suck down four and a half gallons. I need to know how much was in the punch bowl to start. Is this the situation that you're understanding? So this would be my situation equation. This is the sitch, okay? Trying to be all trendy for you fifth grade friends. Now, how do I get the solution? How do I figure out S? What do I need to do? Timothy T. What do we call that? Inverse operation. Do the inverse operation. So we're going to know what the start was by taking four and a half and adding it to two and five eighths. Well, what is that? Okay, so there's my solution. Now let's use rounding to check to see if our answer is reasonable. What would I round four and a half to? Five. five. What would I round? Five eighths is over a half. Thumbs up if you agree. So I think I'm going to round this two to a three. Mm, pretty close. Four and a half. Yeah, it could be. Four, which would make this a more reasonable estimate. That half, you've got to, that's the one that's going to knock you out. Be careful on the halves if there's halves tonight on Things Central. No, because that's in your, when you're rounding, you want to get to the whole number. You want to get rid of the fractions. That's what I want you to think. Are you closer to the one, the whole number, or are you closer to the zero? Okay, that's where I want your thinking to go. And I'm almost thinking, the way I'm looking at Think Central, Think Central wants your half to be zero. They want you, when you see a half, I think they want you to think zero. Okay?